Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to do a really quick one today on my newly acquired Small Vera Tote in the pattern Sea Life. This is actually a current style and a current pattern that you can find on the Vera Bradley website or at Vera Bradley Signature Stores. I believe it is in some sense a limited release in that it is not in every single Vera Bradley style and once the items are sold out they will not be making more so whatever is out there is out there and that's it i'm really actually happy that i started oh that's my lanyard sticking out there i didn't realize i still had that like that i'm happy anyway that i started becoming interested in this pattern now because if you remember from last year the pattern shore thing was the summer pattern it was really really popular and one year later items in that pattern are extremely hard to find and when they do pop up on other third-party sites they're either full retail or higher and i've seen people pay um even higher prices me myself i have e even considered paying uh full retail for Shore Thing items. The small Vera tote that I have in Shore Thing, I ended up finding it from a sort of third party site um, called Shoptiques, but I did get a 15% off discount code from the uh, individual store that had the listing on the site Shoptiques. So I didn't quite pay full price for it, but you know, being that the pattern retired, you know, a year ago you think that you'd be able to find it for like 50% off or more, but sure thing is a very sought after pattern. So in other words, I'm really happy that I'm starting to become very interested in the pattern sea life while it is still available. You can still walk into a Vera Bradley signature store or log on to verabradley.com and see everything. I think at least, you know, most of the main items still in stock in this pattern. This one I actually did not get from the Vera Bradley website. And they actually did have a 25% off sale on all of their, I think, beach items, beach related items. But it was already too late because I was bidding on this tote on eBay. Someone had listed it as an auction item, brand new with tags. And I was already bidding on it and the sale had just started and, you know, I... This was at a really good price. This was actually at a price that was be a little bit better than the Vera Bradley website sale price. So I decided to stick with my um, my commitment, obviously, uh, to that to this item. Another reason why I was a little bit hesitant about buying um, an item in general on the Pattern Sea Life on the Vera Bradley website is because pattern placement with this one is really important to me actually more important than sure thing in my personal opinion i think anything in sure thing is beautiful of course i i do love the seahorses and i love the turtles and i love the blue starfish i love the fish i love the foliage i love the background every part of it is beautiful there are preferable parts but when i do find something in sure thing i try not to be too picky about pattern placement because um it just, it is really, really beautiful. Um, and I'm usually happy with whatever I get. However, with the pattern Sea Life, I do think it is really beautiful. I do think um, whatever you get is going to be good. However, the way the pattern is constructed, um, it, it does have a sort of strong structure to it, as you can see here you can see that there's this um, kind of rope detailing that um, encircles the critters on the bag. So it kind of does set a, a rigid structure. And the way the, the critters are kind of spaced, you could get something off center and then get something cut off a lot more easier than Shore Thing. I think the pattern Shore Thing is a little more free flowing, whereas this one has structure. With that being said, I do like Shore Thing better for more reasons than just that. I, I, I love the element that it is a free flowing pattern. I also like Shore Thing because I like the blue background better than this. Um, it's like an off 
eggshell white pattern. It's not quite sandy, but it's almost a sandy color. Um, so I like the blue background better in Shore Thing. I like the, the, the teal trim that they use in Shore Thing. This is like a very deep orange. It matches the uh, octopi on the bag, actually. But um, this video is not me comparing this to, sh you know, this video is, I should say, not just me comparing this to Shore Thing, just kind of explaining um, the differences since they were kind of similar uh, releases um, with the whole sea life theme. So, but anyway, I did discover that I liked this pattern and I wanted to get something in it. And one of the most important things to me was picking out my pattern placement. So when I was looking at Sea Life items on eBay, I noticed that this one had a lot, and I mean a lot of octopi on them. Um, so we've got one here, right in the center. You can see the pleather, um, it's like a red orange Vera Bradley nameplate. Um, we do have the two seahorse and the sea turtles, and I promise I will get in a little closer, but I wanted to give it like a full snapshot. Um, there's someone riding their bike uh, kind of around the the parking lot that I'm in, so it's not only a little bit distracting, but just a little bit curious. Uh, anyway, sorry about the distraction, but we've got one, two, three, four, five octopi on the front of the bag and then if we twist it around and I did wash this today actually um it did come new with tags again like I said but I did wash it so um I think the straps are a little bit stiff I think they need to settle a little bit especially this one because it does want to make um a loop shape here which is a little bit annoying I hope that does settle once I break this bag in but uh, so if you see that constantly trying to twist that's why I also think the strap is doing that because the way the, the uh, eBay seller packed it, she folded it kind of in half. Um, so not like typically how Vera Bradley ships the tote bags, you know how like the base is sometimes folded um, on top of itself, or like they flatten it like this. Um, this one was like literally folded in half, and I think the strap kind of paid the price, and now it's, it's a little bit uh, wonky. But I am um, hoping that with use, it'll be uh, figured out. If not, then I will attempt to maybe wash it again and try to restructure it myself. I, I guess I just didn't realize that um, the strap was wonky until I, I had it sitting in front of the fan for like two hours to kind of speed up the drying time. And then I realized that the strap was drying like this instead of like this. So part of that's partially my fault too. Um, but anyway, like I was saying before, on the back, you do have the one, two, three, four, five octopi. And for me, this bag is, or this pattern, I should say, is all about the octopus drawings. Um, I love the seahorses. I love the crabs. The crabs are beautiful. I love the turtles. I do feel like the turtles are minimized in a way. They're not like the center of attention. I feel like the octopus, he's bigger. Um, he's bright, bold, red, peach kind of color. Um, he's actually the biggest critter on the entire bag. So I think he's kind of meant to be the star of the show. But I love everything else that's going on in the background, including the shells, the sand dollars, even the, the tan and um, navy blue foliage. So now we're going to get in close. I'm going to try to scoot close to my camera. Um, because this time I am filming with my phone, so I have it um, leaning on, on the back of an umbrella. Things we do to film. Um, so let me throw that back and let's get in. So I would say the, ac the, the lighting is very accurate. Um, it is, it's getting kind of late now. The sun is starting to go down, so um, it's not like we are without sunlight, but there is you know, little to, to no cloud coverage. It's not too bad, at least. So I would say the lighting is pretty accurate. So the background isn't a bright white. It's actually an off eggshell white. It's almost, I would say it's almost like a sand color. Um, actually, you know, there are all different kinds of colors of sand. So if we're talking about like a white 
slash tan sand, I would say that that's what this background color is. And when I get you in close here, I would say this area right here is very accurate. And actually, when I got this in the mail today, I thought there was a stain on it because I was in the basement and the lighting isn't very good down there. And so part of the bag was looking bright white and other parts of the bag were looking tan. And so I was convinced that there were stains on it. So when I threw it in the wash and I took it out, it still looked that way until I brought it outside um, and even upstairs into, you know, more clear, better lighting. Because in the basement, there is no overhead light. Just a couple of small lamps in a big space. So it was really hard to tell in that sort of lighting what the background color really is. So I would say what you're seeing right now is very accurate. So I'm going to get you in even closer. Look at that octopus. It's very, uh, just very fun. It's very cutesy. He's got those little um, navy dotted eyes. You could see his suction cups. I don't know if that's what you call them. Um, I'm a terrible ex-biology major. <laughs> um, but look at the foliage surrounding him. And it's a, such a great contrast to his red peachy color. So you've got the navy foliage. You've got the, the tan white sand in the background. And even the specks. Like, do you see the little navy specks kind of floating around in between all the foliage and shells and things. I think that adds a really good element and that's something that you don't see in the pattern shore thing. Here I go again comparing the patterns, but because they're both like ocean inspired prints, I and I'm not comparing it saying like, oh, one is better than the other, even though I do like shore thing a little bit better. Um, it's just kind of fun to compare um, the, the illustrations and the inspiration that went into each print. So um, I, I just really, with this pattern specifically, I just admire those little navy specks. Just those, um, let's see if I can get my finger on there. Um, these little dots, see those little dots? It makes me feel like I'm walking in the sand and looking down and there are all these really pretty little shells and turtles, um, maybe sea urchins, uh, clam shells. Oh, there's even little flowers in there. Oh my goodness. I actually didn't even know that there were little tiny flowers. So if we look right above this smaller turtle here, those are showing up a little bit grainy because just because I have the bag so close to the camera. Um, but those are little tiny flowers and it's so cute. And then of course you do have the, let's see here. This is like a larger uh, flower design, kind of tethering these uh, ropes going across the bag here. But I really like those little small flower details. Um, and then you've got your, uh, let's see, we, you've got your sand dollar. You've got little starfish. I'm not sure what that is, if that's like a sea urchin, whatever it is. It's very colorful. It's multifaceted. It's, it's amazing. The detail is amazing. Um, if you think you're interested in this pattern um, and you do have the opportunity to go to an open signature store or if you just want to order something online just to see what it's like in person, I would recommend it um, if you're on the fence about this pattern because I think if you see up close the details, you will be impressed with this print. So let's get back in there. Um, again, we've got this navy foliage, but if you look closely here, there is some... Oh, I would say that's like a cafe, like a creamer colored foliage. And that really adds a lot to the bag for me. It even gives me a, a cafe latte vibe. If you know that um, old vintage pattern, I love that pattern. I don't have anything in it. I hope to get something in cafe latte someday. Um, but those uh, little pieces of foliage kind of um, remind me of that. So get back in there um so if we go over here you could see the teal um let's see those are kind of like little oh i think those are actually the sea those might be the sea urchins i'm not sure what this is this might be some kind of shell i'm sure there is a more specific um uh name for this one but i think these little ones here like this orange and blue one or teal i'm sorry uh, i think those are the sea urchins um, and then you do have the little dark shells that are kind of, um, they kind of accompany uh, some of these uh, pieces of foliage and light colored shells. 
but um, you do have the teal starfish, and then you have the, um, the mirroring seahorses here, which are a navy and, let's see, like a, a very pale blue color. So um, I think that's another reason why I think the, um, in my, just my opinion, I think the, st uh, the octopi are the stars of the show because all of the other critters, like the, for example, the turtles, the seahorses, the crabs, they're all mirroring each other. Um, or they're just really kind of close to each other. Like the turtles, you've got the bigger and the smaller. The seahorses, you've got the matching set. Um, let's see, is there a good pair of crabs on there? Yeah, so um, you do have a lone turtle here. So, I mean, that that's something different, which is cool. Um, but you do have the, the, the matching crabs too. I'll try to get you in as close as I can without it being too blurry. Sorry about my face. <laughs> Um, but I really like the detail on the crab, too. Um, he's a nice deep red with touches of orange. And you've got... And nothing is outlined in black. And I really like that. They're all... All of the darker details in this pattern that you see, um, whether it's the rope, the darker foliage, or just the outlining of the critters, it's all navy colored. So it's not like it's being washed away um, or just poking out in a black color. It's all this nice warm beachy navy color and it's beautiful so there are the two crabs and they are i don't think they're both different i just think they're mirrored so they're uh, both facing different ways but they're the same um illustrated crab so and actually i probably should show you the back because there are less obstructions on the back so if we're talking about pattern placement, like I said, I did see a couple other small veritotes in Sea Life on eBay, new with tags, that just had different pattern placement that just wasn't for me personally. Again, if I saw like a short thing tote, all of it is kind of beautiful. It's all very free flowing. Whereas this one, like I said, it does have a, a little structure locked down to it. So when I saw this, almost centered here with the seahorses and then you've got the two you've got the octopus here you got the octopus here and then you've got the turtles which we haven't zoomed in on them yet but you've got them there right in the center with the navy blue starfish lined up you actually have all these shells going up perfectly straight and I think there's something to admire about that um even though it's structured it's it's very crafty and and just very um just very satisfying to look at I feel like every time I look at this pattern, I'm finding a new detail that's really uh, just intricate. And not all Vera Bradley patterns have intricate pieces and parts like that. So that's why I, I do appreciate this one. Um, yeah, so. Um, and then also on the sides, you could see there is a, a pretty nice pattern placement lineup here too. So if we twist it to this side, you got the two crabs, the um, octopus in the middle, and then the two crabs again. And then if you switch it to this side, it's a little more pushed over to the side, but you have a partially cut off octopus, the two crabs again, and you, of course you got the turtle sprinkled in, in between with all the pretty foliage and whatnot. And then you've got a, a nice full octopus up top. And then again, if we go to the front, um, I didn't really talk about this too much, but you have an octopus, a couple of his legs are cut off, but then you have the seahorses nice and center and the couple of crabs with the turtles. And then I think... What really grabbed me when I first saw this on eBay, this one is what pulled me in. When I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm set. And then when I kept going back to the listing before I even decided to bid on it, and I saw, you know, four more of them uh, on the front like that, I was sold. So I, I was just really, I, I thought, you know, I think there are always opportunities to find better pattern placement. But for me, just scrolling through eBay, there only being a couple of these uh, totes on there. Um, some of them had higher prices, like full retail price. I thought I can't really do better than this tote for the price that it was at. So I took a chance and, and bid it on it. So I yeah, I was just really, really, really very just <laughs> lots of words. I was really happy with this. Um, so just to go through the structure of the Vera tote real quick before we jump inside, it does have the two uh, shoulder carrying handles. I will say I'm almost positive with just eyeballing this that these small Vera tote handles are longer than my Shore Thing ones. 
I even took a picture side, not side by side because I don't have my shore thing with me actually. I left it back at my apartment, which I kind of feel bad that I did that now, but um, I, I might go back and get it within the next few weeks or so. But um, I, I looked at a, another picture that I had on my phone with the shore thing tote and I did take a picture of this one and I kind of put the picture side by side and these straps do look like they are longer. Now, when I threw them over my shoulder and walked to the car and, you know, um, walk, I didn't go too many places with this yet. I just got this today. But walking around, the straps do stay on my shoulders really well. They're still comfortable. The bag still hits in a really good spot, not complaining. Um, the only complaint, I don't know if you really call it complaint, but the only thing I want to improve with the straps is this one that's, it's not twisting right now, which is really good because I'm trying to train it not to. But that twisting bothered me a little bit earlier. Um, but I think if I just, if it's still going on, uh, even after I'm using it for a long time, I can just wet it down and like force it to stay um, the direction I want it to go in. So for what that's worth, I did notice those straps and I don't know how much longer they are, but they, they just do feel uh, uh, on me just a little, and I mean, just a little bit longer. Um, I, I don't really know how well you can see that, but it's, it's not absurd, not absurdly long. Um, and it, it doesn't bother me. So I'm sorry. I'm a little bit sweaty. I forgot to bring something to drink with me. So if I look red and sweaty, please don't put that in the comments. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, so yeah, the straps do go, um, or they run the body of the bag. They do attach at the bottom. And I do like when straps do that. I like the look of it. Um, and I also like the fact that they, they'll just, they just feel like they'll be more secure and last a longer time because I, ha I am now a fan, a big fan of the small beer tote. So knowing that I've used my short thing tote so, so, so much, I really like this one too, and we'll get a lot of use out of it. I, it's good to know that the straps are nice and secure. Um, and then we've got this front zipper pocket. It is the new style of metal zipper. It's like a, a plastic coated one that looks metal. It's nice and soft, easy to maneuver. You do have the ribbon pulls, which is great. Um, and then you've got the slip pocket right behind it. No pockets on the back, but there is a pocket um, back here. It is the hidden pocket. And that's typically where I like to either keep my car keys and or my cell phone, which I'm currently filming with. It's the iPhone 11, fits in there perfectly. It's only a little bit bigger than the uh, phone I had before, which was the iPhone 10 regular size. So at the top, we've got a little bit of a recessed zipper. You could see the, um, and I've come to like this trim. I think when I first went in the signature store when this came out, I was iffy towards the trim. I was kind of repeating to myself, I'm like, I wish that they used the trim color that was in this starfish or in this turtle, like that nice teal, kind of like what they did with Shore Thing, but I think they're just trying to be, you know, different, and they were trying to match up to what, what I consider the star of the show, the octopus, because that's the same color, um, but I've come to like it now. It's, it's, grow it's definitely grown on me, so that is also the color of the zipper, so it's nice, bright, easy to see, you got a little pull tab here on the end to help you pull the zipper back and forth. And then if you look on the inside, which this is pretty, I would say unique for Vera Bradley, they used the outside pattern as the interior pattern. And I think the reason why is that um, one of their main releases was a pattern called Seahorse, of course. And if you've seen that, it's like a sort of like a, I don't know if you call it a royal blue, I'm not sure. But like the background is black and then you have all of this really intricate, swirly, royal blue detailing with these off-white starfish in that same swirly um, illustration. And that was kind of the, the other beachy pattern that they came out with that actually came in more items. It came in more of the signature items. And the interior pattern for that, for the seahorse of course, was sea life. So when they came out with sea life in a limited selection of styles, they just kept that same sea life pattern inside, which honestly I'm super pleased with because I, I like this pattern so much. They could slap it on everything, slap it on every single signature item they have. And I would probably, once everything goes on sale, I'd probably be all over that because I, I do eventually 
want to get one ID case in it. There are no lanyards in it, unfortunately, which is why I got that uh, cardinal red lanyard. To, not a perfect match, but it'll do. But um, I would eventually like to get a few more items once they're on a better sale price. So anyway, I'll just kind of give you a snapshot of everything I have inside. Just all of my typical items in there. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, I had a ton of stuff in there because I was carrying a Vera tote really really big tote this one I went back to all of my everyday necessities um, I can squeeze my necessities down to even a smaller package like a um, franny bag for example but this is the perfect size this and the Mandy actually because they're both pretty much the same size and allow me to carry the the same amount of stuff so basically the main thing I'll pull out here that's different than what you've seen in some of my other videos keeping the beachy theme here. This is my novelty zip ID case in the pattern shore thing. And I typically don't like embroidered items. Um, the tote from yesterday was an exception. It was a beautiful, unique tote for a great cause, had a beautiful interior lining. I just love that tote. And I was able to look past the embroidered slash denim feature because I usually don't go for denim or embroidered items, just not my thing. So that was a special occasion. This is also a special occasion. You have a pleather feeling embroidered turtle on the back. Again, it's pleather, so it's not like, I don't know if you'd even call this embroidered. Maybe it's not called embroidered. It's just kind of stitched on the back of a soft fabric, non-quilted Vera Bradley Shore Thing Zip ID, which I like better than the quilted Zip IDs. It's nice and compact and thin, even with the turtle on top of it. And the turtle, since it's pleather, it's nice and smooth. Um, when I first got this, I was a little bit worried that when I'm pulling this in and out of my different bags, that the turtle would catch on things and start to tear. I'm here to tell you, I've used this ID case since I, I think I got it maybe last August. Um, something like that, probably early August last year. And I've used this ID case probably, this is probably my, one of my top five ID cases that I've used so much. Um, and it's still, the ring is getting really scratched up. But the ID case and the turtle itself is doing really well. Hasn't gotten caught on anything. I've stuck this in jacket pockets and pants pockets and thrown it in and out of bags. I've clipped it around my neck. Um, I've taken this hiking with me even. And it's, hold, it's held up really, really well. I was really lucky to grab another one of these. And um, it was a few online outlet sales ago. This ID case popped up. I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying more backups, um, but I also thought that was kind of selfish. Um, I mean, even buying one when I already have one probably is a little bit selfish, but um, that's how much I love this ID case. I really, really wanted a backup. Um, so I do have a second one of these. And um, quite recently on eBay, one popped up that was a pretty good deal. It had the matching lanyard. And I bought that one for my mom because she saw mine and really really wanted one so I was a I thought well if I can't find one for her I'll just give her my extra but she did want the lanyard too um the lanyards are kind of hard to find in good condition so um when I saw that with the lanyard too at a semi-decent price I just went ahead and got that so so he is overlaid on top of that nice blue starfish and some rope you can see the bit of the anchor and even a little red fish down there and then here's the front you get a good bit of foliage and then here's the lanyard so this has been my wallet for the past a little over a week now and then everything else that I have inside is basically the same stuff so I won't bore you too much with that I've um, got the coin purse and owls I've got probably close to probably between eight or ten coupons Pro some of them are probably expired because I've been carrying them around for months but I always car carry them around in case there's a sale <laughs> that sounds pretty pathetic doesn't it but in case there's a sale or something and I'm out and about and I want to use a coupon before something potentially sells out and I'm not at home I have them in my bag so I'll get you in close so you can see those those are right there and then I've got my ink blue puffy cosmetic I found one of these in the pattern emerald paisley which i really like i don't have anything in that pattern you don't see very many predominantly green patterns from vera bradley 
Um, so I do want to get that eventually, but I, I legit need to calm down on buying. I need to not spend money that I don't have on Vera Bradley right now. Um, getting that Love All tote was a huge expense. I did stack that onto my credit card because I thought at least that way I get some kind of reward points. Um, so I did put that on my credit card, but nonetheless, I need to calm down on buying Vera. So, um, I'm loving what I have. This is the, um, small ink blue puffy cosmetic. I love this line. Um, and I definitely want to get another one in it. So, and oh, while I kind of lifted that up here, that's really cute without the stitching in it too. Um, you can see at the bottom there, there is an octopus. So they're all, I mean, they're all over this bag and I like every single element, every single shell every there's not one color in this bag that i don't like like i said i was a little bit iffy about the trim color but it's growing on me now it is growing on me um i do think it would be better if it was like a dark teal color like the short thing but it's okay i still i still really like it so with the small vera on the interior you've got the standard six pockets three on one side three on the other not quilted um, but I'm so glad that they did not do, like, a blank lining or, you know, I, I'm just so glad that they at least wrapped the outside and the inside there. So you have a bright, uh, easy-to-see interior. And it's just fun. Every time I look at this, even though I just got it today, I've just, you know, it's it's been a long week. Even today was a little bit long. And I thought, you know, this these videos kind of help me. Um... And I know some of you that watch enjoy them too, so I thought, why not just do something fun and something that we would both enjoy. So, anyway, I think I hit everything that I wanted to hit. I guess one thing I didn't mention, uh, these small Vera totes do not have a rigid base. There is something in there. Um, it is very flexible, but it's not, it's not super hard and it's non-removable, so... Um, if you're worried about your bag flopping over, I wouldn't worry too much unless you like carry two small, tiny things. Um, but if you carry at least a few things, it should hold up very well. I haven't had a problem yet and I don't, I don't stuff my bags unless I'm using a really tiny, tiny bag. But anyway, that is the Vera Bradley Small Vera Tote in the current pattern Sea Life. I hope you all have a great weekend and I'm sure I will see you again very soon.